Greetings, citizen. Welcome to Star Citizen. I hear you just picked up yourself a starter ship. Let's head into the verse and we'll check out a bit of gameplay. We'll go do a uh, delivery mission and we'll run through some key bindings. Let's tab out of here. Yeah, bloke, we're still live. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, mate. Let's uh, head over to the verse. See you there. Right here at your launcher, you're gonna have a couple of different options up the top. You're gonna have live or PTU. Um, you'll just have live. I'm actually using the PTU at the moment, which is the persistent test universe. Live is the live builds that are out to most people this today. But I'm using PTU for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna click PTU because I don't have access to all the different ships in my live account. So. But you'll want to make sure that's on live and then click launch game. Now we're in the game. You're going to have a couple of different options here. So Arena Commander, which is um, ship to ship combat. Um, it's a game inside the game, same as Star Marine, is the FPS combat. It's just a game inside the game. So in Arena Commander, you can do uh, multiplayer games against your friends, with your friends against AI or against other players in your ships and this uh, same with Star Marine uh, it's just player on player so you got capture the flag basically which you go around hacking terminals to win the game or elimination is uh, every man for himself um, but for this video we're gonna go to universe and you're gonna it's gonna be created with this custom uh, this the uh, character customization profile here so I'm just gonna randomize one for the sake of this game and accept then you're going to be given a few different options on where you want to spawn. Port, Port Olisar, this is, um, which is a station uh, circle in Hurston. Oh, sorry, Crusader. You've got Grim Hex, Levski, Lawville, and Area 18. So these are all different uh, places where you're going to begin the game. For this video, we're going to start at Port Olisar. Good old Port Olisar. And make sure you're in your region up here. I'm just going to go to best for my country. It'll give me the best frames and all that sort of stuff. And we're going to click visit location. So here we are. We've just woken up at Port Olisa. So to get out of bed, you're going to press W. You get up. There is a lot of interactive menus in Star Citizen. So to do so, you're going to want to hold F. And it allows you to interact with things. you just got to be close enough to them to interact. So if I walk up the door, hold F. And then you can use your mouse to click on the options. So if they're just single options. You can just click F once and it will do the job for you instead of having to hold down F. But also while holding F, you can zoom in and look at things too. With your mouse uh, wheel, while you're holding F down, you can zoom in and out. So depending on your spawn location is where you'll wake up in an easy hab. Um, so once you've landed in a station and you've stored your ship, uh, that is going to be your place where you'll like wake up each game. So for the moment, we are at Port Olisar. So I'm going to walk up to the door, press F. I'm just going to tap it. It's going to open up. It's going to be in a hallway. I'm going to want to walk straight down to the main hub area. So down these stairs. So one thing you're going to notice at these stations is a lot of signage around. So you can see these big signs over here. So when we select a, a ship in our console over here, it's going to give us a pad number to where our ship's going to be spawned. And you'll find that on these boards. So landing pads 0 to 4 and landing pad 10 out to the left. And the same around behind us. You'll see another sign. It's going to tell us the different locations. Um, when you walk outside, at Olisar there is four different struts to the station. So we are on B strut. Your friends that spawn in, they might be on A strut, B strut, C strut or D strut. So you'll know where each other are by looking at these signs on the roof. And they'll also give you direction to different pads. So out to pad 9, out to pad 5 and 8 that way so. um, another thing here at Olisar a few different shops, Dumpers Depot you'll buy all your ships, weaponry um, and system upgrades and stuff like that in here so there's a lot to choose from but uh, let's get into the little technical side of things I wouldn't worry about that just yet, you'll pick that stuff up as you get going in Star Citizen uh, you're going to notice a little desk here straight out from the hub area where we select our ships 
Uh, this is uh, the administration desk. Uh, you can go and talk to this guy to pick up parcels and do delivery drop-offs. But in each station there's also going to be these little vending machines. So for some delivery missions it's going to ask you to pick up a parcel from one of these stations, whether it's Olisar or somewhere else, and there'll be these little machines. You just walk around and you click on the pad, it's going to do its thing, and one will turn up if you have a mission there. It should um, put an icon on the machine you need to go to. So we haven't actually selected a mission at the moment. So it's not showing anything. Also, here at each station are these other little terminals here you'll see where you can come up and you can buy and sell commodities. So you'll select your location for your different ships that you've got. So if I was using the mole for mining, I could select that and I can come in here and sell any of my goods that I've mined. Um, I think there is another trade terminal. Oh, it's these ones here, sorry. These ones here are for all your different commodities. So if I wanted to buy materials, Say I had Avenger Titan, I wanted to buy something, I'd go through, put the amount of units I want to buy, and accept it, so select one, amount of units I want to buy and purchase, and then uh, you can go sell that at different stations for different prices. So there is a good website, uh, Kellogg's, um, done by my friend Revere, he's uh, put a lot of time into coding that webpage for all the different commodity prices around the system, uh, for the commodities that you buy to the commodities that you can mine. I uh, really recommend checking that out. I'll put a link in the description down below. It's a really handy little app. Alright, for the sake of this video though, we're going to try to do a delivery mission. So, what we're going to want to do is press F1. It'll bring up your Moby Glass. In your Moby Glass, you're going to see a couple of different things in here. You're going to see your current balance sheet, because I'm in the PTU. I've got a lot of money sitting right here. Um, you're going to see how much oxygen you've got left. You can buy oxygen bottles, medipens and stuff like that from the stores around the place where you buy your armor and weapons and stuff like that. You're going to see what the oxygen level is like in the environment you're in, whether it's in a station or down on a, on a planet. Um, it's going to give you the amount of oxygen and stuff that's around. And yeah, all the good and bad stuff that's around. Uh, your heart rate. So if you run, you'll notice your heart rate will start to peak. You'll run out of puff. Um, any damage you see, uh, your vital limbs and stuff will show red. And then you'll need to press V to heal. Actually, no, I think it's actually C to heal. But um, yeah, let's just go through to if I can find my way. So in that shop over there is Cassaba Outlets. You can buy your day-to-day -day civvy clothes in there. A quick look inside. So you can see all your different clothes you can purchase. If I do a quick runner, oh, these units here. I should mention them quickly while we're here. If you do happen to get a crime stat, up the top right-hand side of my screen there, you'll see a little bullet with a cross through. It means we're in an armistice zone. So when you come in and out of armistice zones, that will show up. That means no one can use their weapons. But then you will also see a little symbol if I go to my Moby Glass, press an F1. Uh, my Moby Glass is not going to work at the moment. There we go. It's pressing the wrong button. Uh, it doesn't actually show here your crime stat. I thought it did. Okay, maybe it just shows up if you do have a crime stat. And it comes up and it will show you. Oh, you're right here. It will show you your level of crime stat. So if you do get a bit of a crime stat, the way you clear it is come to these stations. These uh, little terminals. Walk up to them. Press F. Or hold F. And click on them. This one's not working. Oh, there it goes. It's going to work. And you're going to be able to clear any fines and stuff like that you have in these terminals. We'll go back to our Moby Glass. So down the bottom left, you've got your comms. So you can contact any person in your server. If I right click on someone's name, I can invite them to a party. Invite them to a channel. Add them to my contacts. And mute and unmute the player so they can use their VoIP. Uh, in game so and you can scroll through that and pick a number of different players that show up any of your friends you can add them to your party and stuff like that uh, the next tab is for your ship loadouts so if you select a ship here for example I'll just pick the Avenger Stalker and you're going to be able to go through and replace um, any of the weaponry that are on it the propulsion system any of the other systems the coolers power plants you know your quantum drives any weapons missiles and stuff like that you do all that in here um, you can pull it off for other ships, put them on some ships if they fit. Otherwise you go to Dumpers Depot and you can buy all that stuff. So, uh, now I've got a black screen, a bit of a bug. Let's walk through that, because I'm in PTU. Uh, what else was there in our Moby Glass? Quickly to run through uh, this tab here. Click it, you're going to be able to go and set your clothing. So make before you go outside, always make sure you have an undersuit on and you equip your helmet. So I'm going to go and put this helmet on. And make sure you always click save changes, otherwise when you tab out of here, all your changes will be lost. So, utility. So, med pens. I have one med pen on me. 
So if I would need, to, if I hurt myself at all, I think it might be C actually, not V. I said C before. Um, press C and that will use your med pen to save your life. Come down the terminal here, press F. Just clicked it once. I'm going to take the Avenger Titan, which is the ship that I recommend that you guys start with. Otherwise, yeah, the Aurora MR or the Mustang Alpha, that whatever which one of you pick. But I really recommend getting the Mustang, uh, sorry, the Avenger Titan. Really great starter ship. Select it. And it's going to hail my ship for me and it's going to tell me what pad it's going to be on. So there you go. This uh, ship has been spawned on B07. So what I'm going to do is step away from the terminal and look at these signs. So if I hold F, I can zoom in on these. So pad 0 to 4 is that way. Pad 5 to 8 is that way. And you can also see the little marker there on the screen showing where my Avenger Titan is located 69 meters away. So let's follow these signs out. And we'll find an airlock that we can go outside. Pad 5 to 8 this way. Walk up to these, tap F. Like I said, you can hold F down and manually select things as well, which you will need to do with some stuff in your ships and that. But most of the time, I just press F, just tap F on it, and it's a quick key save, having to muck around. Pad 7's this way. Pad 7's this way. And then when you get out on the pads, they're also numbered in big numbers on top of the pad. So, you can see right here, pad 07. And the one over there is pad 08, written on top of the pad. So, this is Avenger Titan, we're going to walk straight up into the back of it here. Hold an F, open in the back door, or you can enter through the side. They so walk up to the side of it, hold F, a little thing will come here, enter ship, open pilot's canopy, open ladder, or you can just go enter ship and it'll do one quick movement straight into the ship and away you go. Next hotkey you're going to want to know is when you get in your ship is if you press R, you're going to go to flight ready. Or you can manually select stuff by holding F down and looking around your cockpit. So you can see here, if I turn this off, engine's off, and I power off, if I can find the power off button, power off, I can uh, hold F down and I can go flight ready. But the quick key for that is just F, uh, sorry, R, if you tap R, it'll fire everything up. F4 is your third person view. Um, if you want to move your mouse around, hold Z and you'll be able to move your mouse around different angles of your, for your view, release Z, and you'll be locked in that position. If you just tap Z, you can do it as well, but then you just got to remember to press tap Z to lock your camera view again. So I find it easy just to hold it. So what we're going to do is hold space, and we're going to take off. Some ships that are VTOL, if you press J, it will uh, raise and lower your engines into VTOL position. Um, we're in the Avenger, it doesn't have VTOL. Um, if you press N, it's going to raise and lower our landing gear. If you come in to land, if you hold N down, you're going to go into auto landing mode. So I'm going to press F4 again. I'm going to put it back into the cockpit here. It's like we haven't done. I'm just going to move out away from the pad here. I should have did this before we jumped in our ship. It was uh, selected ourselves a mission. So I'm just going to pull out here for a moment. We'll stop for a sec. And then I'm going to press F1. And we're going to go back to our board here that we never finished going through. So you got your system map, so if your mouse wheel in and out, it's going to zoom in and out on your overall map of the whole system. So there's a lot of different planets and uh, stations and stuff around the place you can visit. I'll zoom back in, and I center us onto our location, we're at Port Olisa. Um, if I hold my right mouse button down, I can pan the map left to right up and down. If I was to left click, I can rotate the map around. So but you just got to hold that button down to do so. Um, and you can select on your areas, set routes, clear your route and stuff like that for when you're quantum. Uh, the next tab is just a journal. Then you've got your repair uh, maintenance services. So when you land on a pad, you can come in and select repair your ships, uh, restock with weapons, refuel quantum and hydrogen fuel right there. Uh, and the next tab is our job board, our contacts manager. So straight up, I'm going to go do a delivery mission. I'm going to look for something nice and close here. Just bear with me. I'm just going to go through different options here. I should have did this before we take and took off because uh, the delivery mission I might have had to pick up from inside this building. Otherwise, it might be in a different pad. I'm just going to go skip through and find a nice little job to quickly do. I want to find one that's nice and close.
Hurston L3 to Hurston L1. Where is that on the map? Hurston L3 to Hurston L1. So I'm going to zoom out and have a quick look. Hurston L3 across to Hurston L1. Hurston L1. There we go. So it's over to there. So we might select that one. I'm going to set route to L3. Uh, what we're going to do is go into the mission board and you select that mission. Okay, highlight the one you want. And we're going to go accept mission. So, and then you accept the missions will come up at the top here. So you've got your general missions, personal missions. will come up as you unlock stuff. Accept the missions in your history. Uh, you can do beacons as well through this tab right here. Place a beacon out for a pickup or combat assistance or something like that. So pick up the shipment from Hurston L3. So we're going to, it's, it's already tracked. So you can untrack it here or you can share your mission with friends and abandon your missions here as well. So that's already selected. It's already tracked. If I get out of here now, for some reason my canopy just opened up randomly. Exit to zero gravity. We don't want to do that. Let's go. Um, let's quantum. Oh, it's just closed for me anyway, manually. So. Alright, so let's bring up, press B, it's going to spool your quantum drive, and then when you go over a location, it's going to set up to quantum there. There should be a little marker on my screen, as you can see up the top right of my screen. I'm going to look towards that, and it's going to show me where I need to go. The so right around the other side here. So Q and E is uh, roll, W is forward, so if I just press B again to get rid of the quantum, so you can see... On, the mount, on my screen there on the left side, if I press W, you can see my throttle going up. And it's only going to go to that little line if I mouse wheel. That little line's going to rise right up to a different like, to a different spot on the uh, throttle there, and I'm going to get full throttle. So you can set that to wherever you want by mouse wheel. And then if you press C, it's going to lock cruise control and it'll hold you at that speed. So I'm going to tap B again, bring up the quantum, let it spool, to wait for it to calibrate and wait for a quantum drive to come online. Once it's online, we're going to hold B down over that marker and we'll go into quantum. It's going to take you a little while between trips, so I'll cut these uh, travel times out just to. Uh, speed this video up a little bit but um, yeah keep in mind that you can be interdicted between uh, flights as well so if you're in a bigger ship uh, a little trick to do is get out of your seat uh, I don't recommend doing that in this ship because you'll get out and uh, eject out into space although you could probably go exit seat and get out behind you here actually into the uh, rear compartment of the ship so and by doing that, you're less chance of getting interdicted by pirates or by the UE space police, so... I'm just going to hop back in my seat. So, same deal, I'm using FD to interact with all this stuff to get in and out. A quick key to get in and out of your seat is a Y. T will toggle your lights on and off on your ship. Um, if you've equipped a weapon through your Moby Glass to yourself, a gun or anything like that you've picked up, use your keys 1, 2, 3, 4, and it will allow you to uh, toggle between your different weapons. V to holster them, C to use a Medipan. We're starting to approach our target uh, location right here. We're not too far off the pickup. I'm going to land at that station there. We're going to have to hail comms with them to get permission to land. Uh, if you just go randomly land on uh, on landing pads, you will uh, receive a crime stat rating, and NPCs and stuff like that will shoot at you. So you need to go ahead to one of them little terminals that I showed you earlier in the video to clear your crime stats. That's if another player doesn't kill you beforehand. When you're in your cockpit, when I'm in quantum, I can free look around with my mouse. But if you're flying and you're locked forward, if you hold Z down, you can free look around your cockpit. Or by holding F, you can free look around as well through all your interactions with your systems, 
and you're also able to walk around out through the outside here of the cockpit, so. Righto, we're coming up on our target right here. So I'm going to press B to get rid of the quantum drive system. Right, I'm going to swim the wheel up to pick up our pace. I'll see you'll notice up there the little triangle was beside that little arrow. It means my uh, cruise control is on. If I press C, it's going to turn my cruise control off. Press C again, turn my cruise control back on. We're going to approach the station here and request landing. We'll go inside and get this parcel. Okay, we're starting to see the station's lights on the pads and stuff like that around the place starting to light up. The little red flashing lights there. Let's try and uh, kill the glare from the sun. Rotating the ship using Q and E. Q and E. Um, a and D are strafe right is D. Strafe left is A. S to reduce your throttle. Space, uh, sorry, shift to boost. Control to lower, uh, to go down with your ship, thrust down, and space bar to thrust up. I'm starting to come into view here, I'm going to tap C to take my cruise control off. I'm just going to float on in here. Bottle everything down a little bit, I'm going to move my cruise control bar down to the safe range. I'm going to tap C again, lock it in on that. So using your mouse wheel to adjust that. You can adjust it while cruise control is on. Uh, and just remember if you need, when it comes time to land, press C to remove that cruise control. So save any issues while you're landing. I'm gonna press C, C again here in a sec to kill the cruise control. All right, I'm gonna hold F. And I'm going to look at my little screen here and click on where it says menu, right there. I'm going to go to the comms tab. Menu, click comms. Okay, that one's a good example of a bugging game. Let's go try this menu over the side. It's uh, being a little difficult at the moment. Great for trying to create a video. Yes, F again. Try that comms, not going to work. Try another menu, that one's not going to work either, so a little bit closer. Oh, I should be close enough actually. Pad right here in front of me. Right there. Try one more time. Please. All right, what I'm going to do is power down by pressing I. It's going to kill my whole ship. U is going to shut the whole ship completely down. I was just killing my thrusters. Now I'm going to press R to reboot everything. And hopefully that might reset my systems here. There we go. I've reset the systems. Now I'm able to hail that system. So press this little uh, icon right there. It's going to hail for request for landing. It's probably, it's probably a good thing that that little uh, bug did show up just then. And uh, sort of allows me to highlight how to fix a few of these little issues that you might encounter while you're playing. So... A lot of the time if the quantum and stuff like that's not working when you're flying just uh press that button and uh to shut down your engines and stuff and it resets a lot of stuff so what i'm going to do is go to f4 here i'm going to press n and you will see my landing gear is going to come down and if i go to the pad here and i hold n down we're going to enter auto land and it's going to center the ship for me and it's going to land it directly where we need to be f4 again takes us back to the to the uh, in cockpit view. If you press F12, it's going to kill the chat that pops up on the screen if you want to get rid of all that stuff. So I'm going to press I, I'm going to kill the engines. I'm not powering off the ship completely, I'm just killing the engines. And then I'm going to hold F 
and I'm going to exit my cockpit. So, or you could press Y and go through the back of the ship if you wanted to, if you wanted to use another hotkey. So this is Hurston L3. It's just another big space station. There's our Avenger Titan we just flew in on. I'm going to wander inside, look for these doors. Another thing too, if you hold shift or hold W, you're going to run faster. If you um, mouse wheel, so if I mouse wheel down, you can see I'm walking really slow. But if I slowly mouse wheel up, it's going to put me into a faster sprint. And then you can hold shift or also sprint as well. So. so come up to the elevator door here, hold F, call the elevator. So I held F and I clicked on that with my left mouse button. Call the lift here. It's the lift. So we want to go to the lobby. Before we go inside, just check what pad we're on. It actually doesn't state out here, but we can check from inside as well. So when we're inside, we can go to the ship terminals and we can see exactly what pad our ship's on as well. So go to the button here, we're going to go to the lobby. Side. What I'm going to do before we go anywhere is I'm going to check the terminal here and just see exactly where my Titan is parked. So what you can do is you can see your vehicles listed this side. If they're stored or they're unknown location, I'm location is at Hurston L3 where it's landed. And I've got eight cargo capacity, brewer one, and claim. And stored, it's unknown, so it's not actually telling me the pad. It should tell me the pad number there that I'm parked on. But for some reason it's not showing. We'll come back and check that again in a sec. We'll go pick this parcel up. Otherwise it can only be on one of the pads outside. I'll just have to toggle through a few of them to find the location location of my ship. So sorry guys, uh, what happened there was I had a bit of a system crash. Um, I managed to retrieve another mission to pick up here at uh, Hurston L3. Luckily that we're here, so I crashed the desktop, so I've picked up a new mission. So now we are got to go pick up this parcel and we deliver it down to Raven's Age Shelter. So, we'll go pick it up and we'll get going with that mission. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, this is the offer, so. so we're going to run around the other side here to a uh, little location where we pick up our containers. So that's another uh, another store, Pl uh, Platinum Bay, where we can buy uh, quantum drives and shield generators and weaponry and stuff for our ships. So you want to come around to the admin building here. And inside here you got some more terminals where you can uh, buy and sell commodities. Uh, for trading or you've got this machine here with the marker above it like I showed you at Port Olisar so we're going to walk up to it again press F hold F down and right uh, left mouse click on it to open it up process I hold F down to pick my parcel up and then we're going to walk out to our ship so because we crashed our ship has gone from the pad out there so I'm just going to have to go and hail the ship again um, the Avenger Titan is probably gone, so we'll probably have to hail a different ship. I've got another, I've got an Avenger Titan Renegade, which is exactly the same ship, it's just got a different skip, uh, ship skin on it, so we might have to just take that one out. Walk up to our terminal here, I hold F down to use it, our Avenger Titan, I'm gonna claim that while we're going. Buy a claim on it, and then we're gonna go back, and I wanna, I'm gonna retrieve my Avenger Titan Renegade. So, so as you just seen there, that's how you um, claim your ships if they blow up in space. You just go there and claim them, like I just did. I lost my ship out there. So you're able to retrieve your ships that way through insurance. So I'll just show you that once more while we're here. So it was a Vengeance Titan. All I did was click on this here and went claim, but I can expedite that with for a fee as well. I don't recommend doing that. Just wait your time. Like five minutes isn't too long to wait for a ship go to the store there and have a bit of a look around through the different stuff so like I can claim my Avenger, uh, Avenger Renegade now that I just uh, spawned so but um yeah so let's go out so over here it tells you the pad number this is what I was trying to show you before pad 04 is where it's located if you ever forget what pad you land on and then just go over to the lift call your lift 
and then once we're inside we can uh, select the pad that we want to go to or the hangar for some of the larger ships. So we go to pad 4. So yeah, this is the exact same ship as what I was flying before, it's just got a different skin on it. I think it's uh, got upgraded weapons on it too. But basically the same thing. Oh, there it is sitting out here. Why so pretty coming out of these stations and looking around. Such a beautiful game. Another thing I don't think I mentioned either is if you press F12 you'll bring up chat. Press F12 again it closes chat. No one's talking yet in this service so there's nothing showing. But if you press F12 that gets rid of the chat if you want to. Uh, press enter and you can type in chat and press enter again. So you can see chat's there now. If I press F12 it's going to make chat disappear. Just gets rid of it off your screen. Walk up the back, hold F down and we're going to open the door. And we're going to walk up in the back of our ship, hold F, it's going to allow us to drop or place the item. See the little blue square coming up, it tells you where you're going to place it, so you can, just allows you to stack things up a little bit if you want to, if you're picking up lots of different parcels, you can stack them up in the back a bit neater. Walk up in the crew quarters. So because we've landed here, we spawn at Hurston L3 now, because we've landed and stored a ship here, so it's set as our spawn point. If I was to log out somewhere in space in this bed, I'd have to get in this bed first and select log out. Um, I will log back in my ship. Hold an F again, getting in the seat. Once the seat turns around, we're going to press R, which is going to is the hot key for flight ready. It's going to fire up all our systems. I'm going to tap R. Away we go. Hold and shift to take off. Press an N to raise our landing gear. And I don't know if I ran through it before, if that was in the other recording on this one or not, but A is sh strafe left, D is strafe right, W is your uh, forward power, and S reduces your power, mouse wheels increases the power on the screen there on the left as you can see, I think I ran through that before. Patrol is strafe down for landing, and space is strafe up. So I think I ran through most of that, I just wasn't sure if that was in the other part of recording before the game crashed. So I just thought I'd quickly touch base on that again. So we're going to go around, find our marker. And tap B to start spooling up our quantum drive. Why isn't our marker... Okay. For some reason, there it is, right there. There's our drop-off point. Look straight at it. Let everything uh, calibrate. Quantum's already spooled. We're just letting it calibrate now. And we're going to hold B. We're going to jump into quantum. Probably worked out better anyway doing this mission. It's a little bit closer than the last one we are trying to do. So back to basically where we come from. Right, uh, we're starting to approach our destination. Coming up onto Crusader here now. Go see where we have to deliver this. I'm going to press F2. I'm just going to bring up my map. So on the map here you can see where we're located and where we're heading. So the actual drop off point for this mission deliver on Salon. So we need to head over to Salon is our next point. And we're going to drop off over there on the surface of the planet there somewhere. So press an F2 to get back out of there. As you can see out to the left there it's already got Salon highlighted ready to quantum out there so once we come out of quantum we're just going to have to realign ourselves, press and B again and uh, let everything spill up and we'll head out there. By the looks it's going to be blocked off by um, Salon itself. We should have actually uh, dropped out of quantum a little bit earlier so we could have just went straight across to it but anyway. I think it's going to uh, tell us it's obstructed, yeah it is. So, I'm going to have to jump out to one of these uh, little systems out to the side here. We don't need to go all the way, we're just going to quantum out a little bit. You'll see what I'm going to do here. Hold and B down, selecting it. We're just going to jump enough to get past the, the uh, planet here. And then uh, we'll jump out of quantum again. Once everything's clear. So, I'm going to hold B down uh, now. Right, so we're just going to hold B down once we're clear of the planet. There we go, and we can jump out of, drop out of quantum, and realign ourselves up. So tap and B again, spool everything up. We 
go. My marker's not showing for some reason. Let's uh, just kill everything for a moment. Uh, let's deselect. Sometimes this happens. You just have to clear your route and then reselect it. Oop, wrong button. I'm on there. On that location. Right, I'm going to set our route to there. Let's get back out. There we go. Now you can see the quantum's working again. I'll hold them B down and we'll enter quantum trouble. Sometimes the quantum can be a little bit uh, glitchy like that. You just have to deselect the uh, target and reselect it. Other times it might just require a ship power down and power back up and away you go. But there is little workarounds for some of the little glitches that are in the game, so... Going up on Salon, which is one of the moons of uh, Hurston. See our delivery point out to the left there. So we'll just have to jump around the around the moon itself and then we'll uh, go into orbit and land down at the shelter. Tap and B once again, spooling everything up. And away we go. Hold and B down to engage it. Coming into range now. Gonna drop out of quantum. We're out of quantum, so we're gonna wanna power up everything here. Press C. If we stay up out of atmosphere for as long as we can, uh, we'll be able to travel a bit quicker. Without overheating everything, because if I come into atmosphere there and I try to power like that, we're gonna overheat everything. I'm going to drop down into a safe range here, somewhere around the red marker there. Right, here we go, we're coming down now. We'll start coming down into orbit. Not a very thick atmosphere on this moon. So our location's just down that side of that little ridge there in front of us. We'll start rolling back our throttle a little bit more. Don't want to come in too hot and uh, end up crashing into the ground or something. So you can see our location right there. I'm just going to wind right down. Come in nice and close and land. So I'm going to press N to lower our landing gear. Going to be no auto land in this time. So I'm mouse wheeling right down. Going to turn off cruise control by tapping C. And yeah, I'm just going to hold it hold uh, S to guide us the rest of the way in. Then I'm going to press control to lower us down. And look at, hold F. I'm going to look at my window see I'm a little bit too close to the stairs there. I'm just going to go forward a little bit more and then uh, we'll touch down right here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to press I to power down the ship. We don't float away. I've left the ship mainly powered up. I've just shot down the engines and I'm going to exit around through to the back of the seat and come out the back to pick our parcel up. All right. Holding down F, let's click carry, pick him up, walk up to our back door, open the door. If there's other players around and that and you're a bit worried, you can shut that door to uh, avoid um, people stealing your ship and that. Parked a little bit too close here, hopefully I can get up past my wing. Oh look at that for clearance, eh? Hey? door-to-door -door delivery here in the Bloke Express. We're going to walk inside and we're going to walk up to the little terminal, press F to cycle the uh, pressurize the room so we can go inside here and we're going to have to place the, sh the item right here on the shelf so we're going to hold F down and click place and then we're going to be given the option to place it up there. Done. Mission complete. Object delivered and we just um, earned ourselves a little bit of uh, UEC so 
There we go, an easy 3,957 UEC to go along with the 5,000 UEC uh, you got by signing up using my uh, referral code down below there. So now you've got 8,000 UEC plus whatever UEC you got with your ship. So uh, that's a delivery mission. I hope this uh, video helped. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's probably a few little things that I've missed out in the video. But all in all, I um, really hope this video helped. And I hope to see you all in the verse again soon. I just want to go outside for a quick look. Take in the uh, atmosphere. So yeah. So that was the delivery mission. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, make a bit of extra money. And uh, I'm Bloke LP. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.